Hello, welcome to the Physics of X, where X is everything except politics. I'm Michael Denon, and this week we're taking a nice little break and having an interlude as we go into Thanksgiving week, which is one of the biggest football weeks of the year. We'd like to celebrate the physics of football. And to do that, I take off my hat and present with you my large football photo, or we also have small playing cards of me in that exact same pose with cool facts on the back about football. This is something really nostalgic for me. We're going back to three videos I made a while ago here at UCI. This is me sitting here in my nice office where we celebrate physics of football and three different topics. We're gonna to take those three videos, pull them together for you here in a single YouTube experience on the Physics of X series. As always, subscribe, like, ring that bell, follow us on at Physics of X on Instagram or just at Den and Michael as well. So as I said, sit back, enjoy this football Thanksgiving week and the physics of football. One of the challenges in football is the lineman. Who's going to win? Is it going to be the offensive lineman or the defensive lineman? The key of physics is when they hit, there's an equal and opposite force between them. So how do you win? Well, you win by having a better force on the ground to support you, which you get two ways, just the way you dig into the ground and how you do that, and the angle or leverage you get when you interact with the other player. If I can get you pushed up a little bit, the force on me is pushing me into the ground, making that force even stronger, and I'm pushing you up in the air, releasing your force on the ground, making that even less, and I'm gonna win. So the physics of tackling somebody is a particularly interesting case, because what you're trying to do is stop their forward motion. That's an acceleration or a deceleration. You're trying to get their velocity to go from whatever it is now to zero. And the force required to do that depends on that change in velocity in their mass. Now you can either do that by dragging on them or literally getting in their way and stopping them. But in football, you actually have an easier way from a physics perspective to tackle someone. You bring them to the ground. Because there, all you're doing is changing their direction of motion. You don't care if they're still sliding a little bit once you get them on the ground. That's a smaller change in velocity, which requires a smaller force. And in that case, you'll be more successful tackling them. One of the biggest challenges for me growing up was trying to figure out how to throw a spiral football. But the spiral is really key to the success of the pass because it's the spiral that gives the football its stability. At the end of the day, the football spinning Physics tells you you don't want the direction to ever change if an object that's spinning. So once you release it into the air, the football will continue to point in the right direction and give you that stability and ability to throw it accurately and quickly where you want it to go. 